Hey, what's going on guys? Hope everybody's doing well. It's Bill Moore. I've got another good hot sauce review for you guys today. And this is another one that's fit for a queen because this is from Queen Majesty. And this is the Jalapeno Tequila and Lime Hot Sauce. Just love a good a Jalapeno Lime Hot Sauce. Uh, once again from Queen Majesty. And this was sent to me from the owner, Erica Deal. She is Queen Majesty herself and she handcrafts her specialty pepper sauces in Brooklyn, New York. Let me read a little bit about her on the website. It says, Queen Majesty, a.k.a. Erica Deal, has been making hot sauces for over 10 years for herself as well as family and friends. Being someone that basically eats food to put hot sauce on it, she has been underwhelmed with the hot sauce options on the market. So she decided that there must be other, others out there looking for something different as well as delicious. And she's just done an incredible job. She's got a couple of uh, lines of hot sauces. The first one I reviewed, uh, the Scotch Bonnet and Ginger Sauce, was just uh, incredible. Had a great aroma, a great flavor on it. So I'm really excited to uh, review this one for you guys. Uh, let me read the side of the bottle up here. It says, the jalapeno hot pepper originates in Mexico and is most commonly used before it's ripe. And that's true. It is mostly used when it's green. Uh, its juice is said to have uh, cardiovascular benefits and help alleviate seasonal allergies. And let me go ahead and get into the ingredients on this one. This one really, really sounds good. Uh, we start off with vinegar, lime juice, jalapeno, peppers, onions, white tequila, garlic, green apple, ginger, olive oil, salt, and spices. Just an incredible list of ingredients. Now, I have opened this up already because I've prepared something to show you guys. Uh, now let's go ahead and check out the aroma. But before I do, let me show you the consistency. It is, uh, you know, certainly not thick and it's not uh, watery thin either. Just a really a, a perfect consistency. Nice, uh, natural, you know, light green lime kind of color on it. But the aroma on this, guys, is just beautiful. First, you get a tart blast of vinegar and lime juice. Now when I say vinegar, uh, the lime is kind of calming that down a little bit, but it's a nice uh, uh, tart vinegar lime up front, but it's immediately followed by onions and jalapeno peppers, a little bit of uh, uh, garlic is coming through, and I believe I can pick up very hint, a slight hint of it in the background, the green apple, just a very unique um, ingredient on here as well. And then the ginger, don't know if I can really pick up on the ginger. And I don't know if I can pick up on the tequila as well, but I'm sure it adds to the flavor. But this has really got a beautiful, nice, bright, tart uh, vinegar. But once again, the lime juice is kind of taking that over. Uh, and it's not, not a sour vinegary aroma at all, but a nice, tart lime, citrus, and then you smell those jalapeno peppers and then you, you get a good whiff of the um, onions and the, uh, the garlic as well. But really, really great aroma on this one. So let's go ahead and put this on a spoon for you guys. Just look at that nice consistency. Pours really good. Okay, here we go. Cheers. Mmm. Wow gotta love jalapeno peppers once again you get a little bit of a little bit of tartness you get the lime you get the flavor of jalapeno peppers you get onions you get a little bit of garlic and you definitely get um, that uh, kind of that green apple tartness as well it's not salty at all it's got a good flavor to it it's certainly not sweet but I love the fact that it's got the uh, the olive oil in there as well to give it kind of a uh, smoothness, a creaminess to it. Now there's some other spices in here, not sure what those are, but has a really, really great um, jalapeno onion lime flavor. Really great job on this, Erica. So what I decided to do is make a jalapeno tequila and lime chicken breast. And uh, what I did, everybody, was uh, first I just kind of uh, uh, dry, put some dry rub, some seasoning, some cumin, some chili powder, uh, some garlic, kind of a southwestern style uh, powder on this, and uh, just a little bit of olive oil to keep it from getting, um, you know, too dry. Grilled that up, and then kind of uh, used uh, Queen Majesty's uh, sauce, kind of as a finishing sauce to just kind of uh, 
uh, get it to caramelize a little bit there. Got that grilled um, jalapeno pepper on there as well, and then have some uh, corn and black beans on here as well. So let's go ahead and check this out. And I'm going to put just a little bit more sauce here on this. And I'm going to get a, um, a nice little um, slice of jalapeno. So here we go. Mmm. Wow. This is incredible. Great tasting sauce. Um, perfect for grilled meats, for chicken, for things like that, grilled meats, um, even on eggs in the morning, I think it would be fantastic on. But just get creative. Um, use hot sauces in cooking, in ingredients. I mean, I think this would be good on deviled eggs, you know, baked potatoes, anything like that. But it is fantastic to use um, as kind of a finishing glazing sauce on this um, spiced up southwestern style chicken. So great flavor. Um, this is really, really good. Um, this is highly recommended. I'm going to give this a strong 9 out of 10 for flavor. Uh, it's that good. So don't miss out on this, guys. Her, both of her sauces are just incredible. And on heat, um, it's a lower, lower, you know, regular habanero type, or not habanero, cut teque or tequila, jalapeno type uh, pepper burn on it. So I'll just give this one a 2 out of 10. But really great job on this, uh, on Queen Majesty's. Jalapeno Tequila and Lime Hot Sauce. And you can check her out, everybody, on Facebook at Queen Majesty. And her website is QueenMajestyHotSauce.com. Uh, so make sure you check it out. Uh, proudly made in New York City. All right, Erica, thank you very much for sending it. I really do appreciate it. And everybody, thanks for watching. And until the next time, don't forget, enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys on the next video.